Okay, let's pull this thing apart. Let's see what we can do with this. So, we got a warranty seal in the back here. Might as well pop that off at this point. Won't be any good. If it'll let you come off. And then we're gonna pop some clips. Start right about here. Put a nice little saver in there. Slip this clip here. Well, I'll take that back. Where's the next one? Right about here. Is that the next one? No, maybe not. Nope, next one's going to be where that warranty label was. Get that above that little, it's got a little square where that label was, so you make sure they make sure you put on the label on the way up. And boy, we got some weird bugs popping out of here. Let's hope I didn't bring any termites into my house or something like that. That would really suck. That seems to be the main one that holds the back in. Oh, yeah, so that's roaches. Nice. I knew I heard something rattling around there. This won't be the first time I've opened up something surprisingly disgusting when it comes to electronics. You open up enough laptops and, uh, doesn't seem to surprise you anymore. No, it doesn't, but. All right, let's work off this front piece here. Got that little clip, got one there. Here's the next one, there's the next one. That should be the next one right about here. Oh, maybe not. There it is. And there we go. All right, we might be done with this repair. There are some live things moving around in here. And uh, yeah, that's horrible. Let me get a trash bag. Now the good news is if you work on electronics, you probably got some good isopropyl alcohol hanging around. I just don't have 100% in the bottle, but I do have some spray bottles thanks to the pandemic and making my own hand sanitizer. Spray this thing down and kill what larva may be left. And that can steep in here with the vapors. And we're gloving up at this point. I mean, the HDMI port, that's one thing, but. What else could possibly, I mean, there's so many possible different failures that could go wrong with the, just the trash and the feces of certain bugs living inside your electronics. I mean, that, that's just, yeah, that's just good to always have one of those little vacuums on hand with a HEPA filter for a reason too. Green screws should pop off the top plastic piece. 
I'm I'm still so hesitant on going any further at this point. <laughs> I really am. I'll make a decision after this on just how bad it is. Ah, I still hear things falling around in there, and I'm, now I know it's not a kid throwing something in there. I mean, I've, I've had PS3s where they were just... Uh, where the Blu-ray player on the PS3 literally had just a ton of money in it. Um, am I ready for the horror? There you go. Nope, this repair is done. It's not getting repaired. It's going back to the owner. As is in a trash bag. This is just. I've seen some bad electronics before as far as infestation and stuff, but this is. This is ridiculous. It's kind of sad, too. Where did this kid buy this thing from? I know he bought it used. Oh, you see? That one just crawled out because it was suffocating from the isopropyl alcohol. Wonder how many we can suffocate to come out. Fence down the side. This is just. I still hear stuff rattling around there. Oh, this comes off fairly easy, so let's just go ahead and pull it. Carcasses galore. I've only found three live. I'm trying to get away. I think this piece comes off fairly easy. This clip moves out. And. Got a rubber overing gasket here. Actually, it looks like a piece of the plastic that the green screw was threw it into, so that's just uh, over molding. Not that I want to sniff electronics before I bring them into the lab, it definitely does have a, uh, a distinct smell, unfortunately. Let's see if I can get any more to run out. Yeah, we're done. So, lesson learned. Not all electronic repairs are fun. Well, we were going to do an HDMI repair on it, but I have my limits. And uh, this, this hits a limit as being the worst piece of electronics I have ever opened in my life of opening electronics for, let me see, I started taking, I took part my first uh, VHS tape player when I was 12. So that puts me at, 34 years of opening electronics and never, ever, even professionally, opening and repairing laptops and computers and desktops for years. Never ran across anything quite like this before. Plastic over mold, need an air freshener, that'd be nice. Let it sit out in the garage. And, no, I don't even want it in the garage. Put it out in the shed, maybe. Rubbing alcohol will evaporate. It will go away. So, 
This was gonna be a HDMI repair. I don't even wanna throw heat to this board. Too many possibilities of what if. this around too much. I don't want anything falling out of it. So let's talk about what lessons we have learned here today. Lesson one, keep a lot of isopropyl alcohol on hand. It may not kill roaches, but it will flush them out. They will suffocate and they will come out of whatever electronics you're dealing with. Hopefully, I want to do some research, it will kill larva. Or if anything else, like found its way on pat on, onto my bench. Lesson two, gloves. Lesson three, should you smell electronics before you take on that repair? Well, by the smell of this, I now know what to smell for. And you know, usually you might sniff electronics sometimes and be like, oh yeah, something let the magic smoke out in there, right? Or, oh, that's a burnt chocolate. That's probably an electrolyte capacitor. Or sometimes, sometimes you can do that. This is a very distinct non-electronic smell. If you know the smell I just smelled, you will recognize it. You will remember it. You will not forget it. It's still in my lab. I need to go get some Febreze, some air freshener. If no on, if I smell that, I'm going to be like, I'm sorry. My poor Dyson. Let's put that in the trash bag too. Man, and there was a period where I looked at it under the microscope, set it down, got a phone call, had to take care of something. That was a period of about an hour and a half. Who knows what the hell crawled out of that thing in that time. Luckily, there's no heat source running here. There's nothing that they would have been attracted to. They're usually nocturnal, from what I know about roaches. The lights were on, and I have one of these 6,000 loom shop lights above this bench. So very, very bright environment. They probably, most likely, 95% sure, wouldn't have ran out of there and gone somewhere else. So do yourself a favor. Learn from my lesson here. Definitely inspect. Even if it looks like it's wiped down and clean on the outside, just take a look in those little crevices. Take Take a high-powered flashlight, an LED flashlight, you know, and just shine in there and see if you see any of that feces and roach gunk and stuff in there. If you do, I can't believe I just touched this. If you do, <laughs> then uh, you might want to refuse service on repairing that item. As always, stay safe. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Keep on tinkering and I'll see you in the next video.